Hey, grade fives, I thought it'd be fun. Ooh, see if this marker works. I thought it'd be fun to do a daily doodle, seeing as we haven't been doing our doodling at home. Thought we'd start with Patrick Starr. Patrick Starr is a pretty fun one to do. He's pretty simple. He's kind of shaped like a giant teardrop. Now, I like to start with his eyeballs whenever I do a cartoon. Because once you get the eyeballs right, then you can kind of fill in the rest of the body, right? And you can judge the size of stuff afterwards. So here's Patrick Starr's eyeballs. Bing. Now, once you get his eyeballs, then you can kind of do his giant teardrop. He's kind of shaped like a giant. Oh, I made his head too big, I think. I don't know. We'll find out. Here's Patrick Starr and his big fat teardrop body. There we go. Alright, now he's got some arms down here. Patrick Starr's got some nice arms for drawing. He's a starfish, so that's a beautiful thing about him. You can just draw these little whoo, sticky outy arms. I like to think of them. Oh, I don't like that one. I feel like it's too big. This arm's in the front, it should look a little bit bigger than the one in the back because of perspective. No, that one's not pointy enough. Let's try again. And I'm just going to stop. We're going to keep drawing these arms all day long until I get them right. Okay. Now that we got Patrick's arms and his general body shape and his head, we're going to give him some Patrick eyebrows. Patrick's got like, kind of like fuzzy caterpillar eyebrows up here. When you do his eyebrows, really makes the expression on his face. So right now we could do kind of like a scared Patrick face or I'm feeling kind of like in a happy mood. And so we're going to give him a smiley face kind of like this. There we go. And we're going to do a little tongue. We're going to do those two little bumps there on the tongue. There, look, he looks pretty happy. Now, really, that could probably do it for Patrick. Um, the more I look at it, the more I like to fix a few things. But Patrick's got uh, one of the few cartoons they draw nipples on. He's got a little belly button. His belly button's are way high up here, though. And then he's got these big pants that come, shorts, I guess, that come almost up to his armpits. And depending on, sometimes they do like a little bump there, so you can see the shorts going around. Depending on if it's a newer or an older picture of Patrick. When it comes down here, this is his butt and stuff like that. He's got pointy legs that stick out, but you can't really see him because when you get down here, his shorts kind of come out just a little bit. Run out of room. Probably can't even see that down there. Run out of room on there, but that's all right. And then his other leg here. Try to make them kind of the same width. And then he's got his pointy Patrick starfish legs. This is a beautiful thing about drawing a starfish is that you don't have to worry about details and the fingers and the elbows and all these parts that they don't really have. Um, they do usually have like a little mark up here in Patrick's forehead or something like that. And last but not least, before we finish off our Patrick picture, uh, he's got big purple flowers on his pants. When you draw purple flowers on pants, try to remember when you have a pattern on a pair of pants, um, it's rare that it just has the full pattern. So you just do kind of like half little patterns there. And this is not the most amazing picture of Patrick, but that's why we start drawing, so we can learn and get better and better. All right, here's our picture of Patrick Starr. Let's look at his face and see if I see anything missing. Uh, no, I think we got everything here. So we start in with the eyeballs, and then we move out. Someone like Patrick, it's nice to have do the body shape with him first because that shape is so much uh, he is of what he is. And then, uh, and then you can kind of gauge the size of the mouth you want to put on there. You can make it small, 
and you could the smallest little adjustments to this could change the whole expression of Patrick. There's your daily doodle grade fives. We might make it a weekly doodle. We might make it a monthly doodle. Tell me what you think. I'll put up lots of doodles if it would help brighten your day. All right. If you want, pause your screen and draw a picture. You can copy it, or you can find one online. Just search an image that looks easy to draw, or find somebody else that does a better job teaching you how to draw. Have an awesome day. Thanks, Grade 5s, for coming on and working so hard.